Okay, so now this game is quite interesting, and it's a great example of how um, the computer can just start to go on runs out of the blue, and it's basically, it's all based upon the algorithm, just giving them what they want, or uh, just, you know, allowing them to get away with anything, and just shutting your whole team down, right? And let's check it out. So... Our biggest lead was a 23-point lead in the first quarter. That's the first quarter. We had eight steals with a 23-point lead in the first quarter. Uh, I believe it was at a point where computer had two points and we had like 18 or 20 or something like that. I mean, it was incredible. We were just mopping them out of the gate. Soon as the game started, we were just mopping them, right? And then out of the blue, computer goes on a 14-6 run. And I get benched and we come back in the game. I come back in the game and we're up by nine points. And now we're up by three. And this uh, this uh, this was just uh with two minutes left in the first quarter, I come out the game. I come back in with 10 minutes left in the second quarter, and we're down I'm, uh up by nine. Right? That's how quick that happened because what? The algorithm thrusted computer back into a position uh, to where they could compete. All right, because they were getting dominated, they were getting destroyed. Um, this is the first quarter stats, but keep in mind it was about two or three minutes left in the quarter when I got snatched out of the game. All right, that is how that's how quickly uh, computer could just start to come back into the game. And it's, it's like, wow, you know, it's, it's almost as if it's nothing that you really, it is nothing that you can do about it because it's a narrative. It's a, it's a script. It's something that's already uh, pre-planned. It's pre-ordained. All right. They're, they're just, going to, they're just going to get forced back into the game. Now I want to go over something that just happened right here also. Um, so you have to actually... You know, you can't, it's hard to really understand what I'm getting at right here because you're not looking at my hand or my joystick. You're not playing with my hands. You're not understanding what I'm doing. But you can kind of still look at it and tell what's happening. Now, in 2K, they do a lot of, um, let me play it all the way through first. In 2K, they do um, a lot of gathering and a lot of quicksand animations. Stuff like that is meant to prevent you from, uh, closing out on shots and getting rebounds sometimes, but especially closing out on open shots or layups. So in this instance right here, what I mean by gathering is this whole thing where you got to get both of your feet together, then you got to buckle your knees, then you got to flail your arms out, then you got to jump. It's, it's an animation that's put as triggered into the game and it's meant to give computer the window of time that they need to get off a shot without it being, without it being blocked or heavily contested, all right? Which is exactly what occurred right here, uh, which is what allowed uh, McCullum to get this shot off and actually make it. Because my man's right here, a minute, my guy, I'm going up to block the shot. Now, when he went up right here, I press Y. So I was supposed to have been all over that. I probably should have even blocked it. All right, because you don't have to gather to, to jump right here to defend the shot. This was pur uh, purposefully done to give him a more open, less contested shot, right? The moment you see where I'm, where I'm gathering and doing all this other nonsense, I was supposed to just went completely, just right up vertical immediately. This was not supposed to have been a scenario where, uh, you know, I'm forced to, to, you know, it's basically a dragged out animation. They drag it out. So it takes longer for you to do what you're trying to do. And that way it gives computer the open shot. All right. Which is why he got the shot off. The shot was already halfway to the basket by the time I was off the ground. Right. Typically in a scenario like this, I press Y, I go right up but the game wants to give him the open opportunity to score. So as you can see, uh, my reaction, it looks a bit delayed. It's like he got the shot off. It's like, where the hell was I at? I was, always, I was still on the ground by the time he got the shot off. But I was supposed to have been rising up with him. 
All right. Now it may seem like I'm nitpicking, like I'm just complaining or whatever. That's fine. But the thing is, with 2K, you kind of it is necessary when you understand how crafty and deceptive they are with how they program this game to cheat. You have to nit. You kind of have to be nitpicking in order to even see these things, in order to even know it, because of how deceptive and sneaky they were with programming it to cheat all right people say the game is flawed it's not it's, it's, you can say that but it's not that it's flawed in a way where they just can't seem to get certain things right it's flawed in a way where they're deliberately purposefully uh, uh programming it to do the things that it's doing it's, it's doing these things it's not accidental it's not bad programming it's purposeful programming They've programmed this game to cheat intentionally, but they've done it in a way where it's very, it's very subtle, it's very nuanced, it's extremely nuanced. A lot of the animations, like the one right here that I'm explaining, is put there to throw off your ability to actually contest the defense. A lot of the animations in this game in general is put there at certain moments, is triggered to aid computer in having some sort of an advantage right but i kind of went on a bit long with this one we'll cut it off here peace